Here we have a list of employees and I'm about to enter in their departments um, and the problem we have today is that we need to enter the data accurately otherwise when it comes to filtering for that data and finding for example who works in human resources unless we've entered the data accurately we'll, we won't find every employee in that department. For example what, what do I mean by uh, inaccurate data? Well if I type in human resources uh, that's fine but let's say another another member of staff is also contributing to this data and they choose to enter human resources as HR and let's say sales and then we have R&D and maybe someone else prefers to enter it as research and development so here we have inaccurate data both on human resources and research and development inconsistent ways of entering the data which means we'll find it difficult to search for all of those things um, if I show you what I mean by that if I choose filter um, and I want to just pull out the human resources people I choose human resources and we pull out Albert who works in human resources However, we know that someone else works in human resources. I've just not filtered for that thing of HR. So that's where the mistake can happen. Because of the inconsistent data, it makes it more tricky and more complicated to filter to get all the information. I have it now. So how can we ensure that data is entered in the same way by everyone? Well, we can use a feature called data validation and we can create a drop down list of the information that we're allowing to be entered. So firstly um, I select all the data or sorry all the cells that I need to or I'd like the drop down list to be in. So I'd like those to all have a drop down list and if I go to data and data validation I can start to create that drop down list. Now at the moment uh, if I look here, all the cells allow any value to be typed in currently, but I want to limit what can be typed in so, this, so it remains accurate um, and I want to limit to a drop down list so I'll choose list here. And to create that list I just type in the, the information I'd like separating each, uh, each piece of information with a comma. So we'll have human resources sales and research and development so now when I click on these cells you'll notice there's a drop down and I can only choose from the list that I created So in summary, to create data entry that's accurate, consistent, so that it can be filtered for and key records won't be missed, we can use a feature called data validation, which is found on the data tab, uh, data validation, and we can create a drop-down list.